Hello everyone, my name is Rickster Games, and today we're going to be doing another tutorial for how to make your own Five Nights at Freddy's game in Game Maker. So, I was just in the middle of making my map. So, I just created a simple map. This is what's going to be in the cameras. There we go. Now, how I did mine is that here's a camera symbol. That's not where it's going to be, but we're going to copy that uh... where was this? where was cam one again uh... i'm not quite sure where did i put camera one camera one's there yeah camera two yep okay i get there we go so camera one would be no i don't want that on replace camera one would be here there that's camera one now we're going to edit this and by the way i'm using um the font in with the old which was created by um, Devin Manning um, he's the creator of Five Nights at Illuminati so he's pretty cool so thank you for letting me use your font I also used it in um, FNAF 3 Jimmy anybody cam 2 goes in here no it goes about yeah let's say about there cool okay and finally Cam three will go. Oop, nope. What is that? Go about. Yeah, about there. So that's it. That's that should be all the cameras. And that's all the cameras I'm going to do. Um, there is actually um. For this empty bit here, it actually has this opacity to one, so that all I can I can just simply copy this and then paste it into the camera. So this is how I do. I actually make it a part of the camera. See right here, and since this is cam one, I would want this to be filled in green. So I'll just fill that in, and I'll leave that stuff. That's okay. See, simple. If your map goes over your character, that's okay. Oop, no, I don't want to load a sprite. Okay, and there was also um, a comment on the previous video asking how to make your own office. Uh, wait, why am I coloring in cam one? Um, I'm not going to be covering. How to make your own office, that is up to you. I'm just making this sprite so that you can see how I do something like maps and like making, like placing characters, for example. I'm not going to go into detail like modeling and like how I created the Finance Toy Freddy's 3 office, etc. I'm just telling you how to make the basics of your game. Because people seem really confused about that. Now, as I said in the previous video, um, wait, why did I put that in? Uh, didn't mean to put that there. There. No, oh, I meant to put it here in cam 3. There we go. No, I didn't mean that. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, if you do use this um, engine, it, uh, I would appreciate it if you would um, mention me, like in the credits or something, that you use my engine. Because I came up with this all by myself. I didn't watch any tutorials on YouTube. I just learned how to do it. Because I made um, a project I never put out on Game Show called Five Nights at Chuckies. You know, Chuck E. Cheese's. But since someone else made it, I didn't want to. But that's basically um, how I learned how to create Five Nights at Toy Freddy's. <clears throat> anyway. Uh, we got the cameras down. Let's make sure that our cam HUD fits over it. By the way, the last video ended pretty abruptly. Yeah, that looks good. Um, the last video ended pretty abruptly because I actually have a limit. You can't see it, but down here I actually have a limit. Um, I can only do 15 minute videos, which is pretty long. So uh, I'm not going to complain about that, but that's why I ended it abruptly. So anyway, let's see, that's, uh, 
basically have everything. Uh, we should probably add Toy Freddy's jump scare, actually. So let's see if I can find sprites for the game. No, that looks terrible. There. That should work. Just make it just make it black. Doesn't doesn't matter. Anyway, we want to cover that up, so I'm just doing this. You won't have to do this, I'm just doing this because I don't want that makeagif.com logo at the bottom. Okay, now we're going to colorize it back to um that lovely green. Because we have a Mr. Green Freddy now. Oops, I just realized that's probably a bad idea. There. That'll work. Colorize. I'll just have to maybe maybe do that. That kind of covers it up. The make a GIF logo. I mean, they won't really notice it because the animation goes by pretty fast, so. But it's still worth covering it. Now, that looks really bad, but whatever. This is an example. You, you probably won't have to do this. It's just that I use Make a GIF and. There we go. I think we're almost done. Yeah, this should. This is the last frame. There. Good. Let's uh, let's watch it. Yep, that works. It's all green. It's nice. Green's my favorite color, which is why I used it. Let's see. Toy Freddy Spook. There we go. I always put S in front of the names of sprites, and then when I actually create the object, I always put O in front of the object name. So I think we actually. We're actually, we're actually done. Um, let's see. There's always um. We need a start button, not a new game button. A new game. So hold on. I'm actually gonna. Let me just um. I believe I always do mine like 200 by 70 or something like that. Yeah, that will do. F um, we need to fill it. Shut up, Norin. Um, the opacity needs to be one. And then we want to fill that in. So now there's actually something for the player to click on. Because if we didn't put the opacity to 1, that means there would be nothing there. And they'd have to actually click on the the word. They'd have to click on the letters in order to um, do anything. Which is pretty newbie, so we are not going to do that. Later, start. Wait, no, it's new game. Oh, no, I keep thinking. Start there. That should work, but that's actually pretty that bit big. So we'll just put it down to 20. There. And then duplicate that. That's a little game. I believe we might actually be able to get onto some coding. And if not, um, I'm actually probably going to post some um, part 3 today. There. Blend. And we'll put load game in the same exact spot. There, that looks good. I'm proud of that. Okay. Um, also, about the loading thing, people seem to have a problem with loading in my game for some reason, so um, I'm not really quite sure why that happens, but um, I'll attempt to fix it. Also, a newspaper. Uh, People might want to know how I make my newspapers. So here we're going to make the newspaper. 900 by 500. I think there's going to be another, probably another sprites video at this rate. Because we're already almost 10 minutes in. Let's see how fast you can get this done. Okay, so first you need to draw the article for the, the box for the article. You need to draw some lines for the other random articles that are around it. Let's see. 
Now, um, I was also um, discussing recently today um, with a few friends how um, Final Fantasy Twenty Freddy's Three was meant to be my last one because I was complaining like so much how well, I wasn't really complaining that much, but you know, people have been moaning at me that FNAF is starting to get old. Like my friends have been yelling at me that FNAF is starting to get old and I should move on to new things. And so I was really considering it. Like I should um. That's why I made Five Nights at Toy Freddy's 3, because I wanted to stop making games. Um, well, not making games, but um, Five Nights at Freddy's games. But it's just, it's so fun. It's just a really interesting concept. It's its just like a whole genre of its own, really. Yeah, it's a horror game, but it's just kind of like its own genre. I don't know, like, let's, let's call this Old Location Found. That won't fit. Who cares? Put it 35. 35. <clears throat> there we go. Old location found. I was gonna make a random article. Ty Freddy has been found in an old location, so we decided to make a new. It's real that looks like the old one, but a different layout. There, except that's really big, but we can fix that. Yeah, that'll work. Maybe a, a picture. Please note that this is not the best I could do, obviously. Um, I actually drew everything in FNAF 3 Jimmy with my mouse, so that's obviously not the best I could do. Um, I don't know, what should I? I'm just gonna put low for the um, a secret message. That's it. So this is how I do my secret messages. I literally just go over that, copy and paste it, copy and paste it. Copy that again, so that it goes by faster. And basically, I just gotta do that. I I'll be back when um, I finish doing that because it's gonna take a few minutes, and I don't want to waste your time. So, see you in like a second or two. Okay, guys, we're back. I put all the lols everywhere. So now we're going to um first we need to select the article so that we get all the text in and copy it. Now we're going to go to image and blur, and we're going to put the blur to medium and turn off blur transparency. There, um, you can blur it a bit more if you want. Oop, not that. There we go, that's pretty blurred. And then place the article there. Turn it a bit, actually no. Uh, you might as well just um put that line around. Actually, no. I want to put some words. Please enlist. Yep. Please enlist. Thank you. There. Amazing. No, I want red. Put the marker line around it. There, that works. Um, rotate it. If you want, I could actually um, put this file on Mediafire. So um, I could actually put the link to this link to this game in the description when um, I finish making it so that you can play it if you, for some strange reason, really want to. There we go. That's the newspaper. That's how you make the newspaper. And it is pretty close to the time limit, 15 minutes, it's 14.30 right now, so I'm just going to wrap it up, thank you all so much for watching, uh, since I think I'm pretty much done with sprites now, so I think um, the next episode will be more about coding, I'm really sorry if you are getting bored with sprites, but at least you know how to do them now, so thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, bye!